Hello guys. Welcome back to Commission Corner. In this channel we'll share all the content related to Commission exams, and states exams of Himachal Pradesh and other states and PSU. And most probably we'll cover MCQs of Civil Engineering and MCQs related to Himachal Pradesh Administrative Services and Allied Services. Himachal Pradesh General Knowledge and History and Administrative History of Himachal Pradesh and Current Affairs will also be covered. So make sure to like share and subscribe guys. So let's continue with today's video. One the Union Textiles Minister Smriti Irani inaugurated the 8th India International Silk Fair on Virtual Portal on January 31, 2021. India is the only country in the world which produces all the four major varieties of silk, which are Mulberry, Eri, Tassar, and Muga. 5 in Nanital district of Uttarakhand. A first of its kind botanical garden named Shivalik Arboretum has been inaugurated, for conserving over 210 species of trees found in the Shivalik range of Himalayas. Six Facebook Incorporated has appointed Henry Moniz as its first ever chief compliance officer. He will join Facebook on February 8 to lead the company's global compliance team, to enhance its global compliance and risk management and promote the highest standards of legal and ethical conduct at the company. 7. Mahindra and Mahindra Financial Services has announced the appointment of Anish Shah as the chairman of the board, effective April 2, 2021. Shah is already a director of the company. 8. Punjab National Bank, PNB, has decided to restrict its customers from withdrawing money from non-EMV, Europa, MasterCard, Visa, automated teller machines, ATMs, with effect from February 1, 2021, in an attempt to check frauds, related to money transactions. 9. The Indian shooting contingent has topped the medals tally in the first ever Asian Online Shooting Championship, organized by Kuwait Shooting Federation. List of medal winners from India Gold Saurabh Chaudhry Men's 10-meter Air Pistol Divyunj Singh Panwar Men's 10-meter Air Rifle Kainanchane Men's Trap Rajeshwari Kumari Women's Trap Silver Arjun Babuda Men's 10-meter Air Rifle Shreyasi Singh Women's Trap Bronze Manu Baker Women's 10-meter Air Pistol Saravyat Singh Men's 10-meter Air Pistol Deepak Kumar Men's 10-meter Air Rifle Prithviraj Tandaman Men's Trap Manishkir Women's Trap 10 Tamil Nadu beat Baroda in the final to win the Syed Mushtaq Ali T20 Trophy 2020-21. The tournament was the 12th edition of Syed Mushtaq Ali Trophy and was played at Sardar Patel Stadium, Motera Stadium, Ahmedabad. 11 World Wetlands Day is observed every year on February 2nd globally. The day aims to raise awareness about the crucial role played by wetlands for people and our planet. The international theme for World Wetlands Day 2021 is Wetlands and Water 2021 marks 50 years of the Convention on Wetlands. 12. In accordance with the latest United Nations World Tourism Organization, on WDO, World Tourism Barometer, the year 2020 was the worst year on record as global tourism suffered adversely due to international travel bans implemented to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. 13. The Vice President of India Shri M. Venkiya Naidu inaugurated the National Tribal Festival Avi Mahatsav at Diliat, Ina, New Delhi. The Avi Mahatsav a celebration of the spirit of tribal culture, crafts, cuisine, and commerce is an annual initiative being organized by TRIVT, Ministry of Tribal Affairs since 2017. 14. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has inaugurated Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's, HAL, Second Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, Tejas Production Line in Bengaluru, ahead of the upcoming Aero India 2021. The deal to be signed in the next few days with HAL would strengthen the Indian Air Force's fleet of homegrown fighter jet LCA Tejas and overall combat capability. 15 engineering college students in Hub Alley, Karnataka have come up with Maya, a robot that has been programmed to serve in banks and speaks in many regional languages. The students of the Automation and Robotics Department of KLE Technological University have spent nearly eight months and spent five rupees lakh to develop the robot. 
16 music composer A.R. Raman and social activist from Sedapet Hari Krishnan were among the 14 people who were presented the fourth edition of the Alert Being Awards 2020 by the NGO Alert, for their Good Samaritan work. 17 former right-arm fast bowler Merv Hughes has been inducted into the Australian Cricket Hall of Fame. 18 Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama has come out with his new book titled The Little Book of Encouragement, in which he has shared quotes and words of wisdom to promote human happiness. The book has been edited by Renuka Singh and published by Penguin Random House. 19 The Union Education Minister, Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank has addressed the inaugural ceremony of the ASEAN India Hackathon 2021 on February 1. The Ministry of Education has launched the ASEAN India Hackathon 2021. 20 A dedicated Centre for Wetland Conservation and Management, CWCM, has been established at the National Centre for Sustainable Coastal Management, NCSCM, Chennai, an institution under the Ministry of Environment, Forest, and Climate Change. This was announced by Minister of State for Environment, Forest, and Climate Change, Babul Supriyo on the occasion of the World Wetland Day on February 2, 2021. 21 Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan, Animal Husbandry Minister Giriraj Singh, Jal Shakti Minister Gajendra Singh Shikhavat and Minister of State for Jal Shakti Ratan Lal Kutariya jointly launched a unified web portal for monitoring the progress of Govardhan. The Galvanizing Organic Bioagro Resources Dan, Activities Across the Nation Govardhan aims to positively impact village cleanliness and generate wealth and energy from cattle and organic waste. 22 Punjab Chief Minister Captain Amar Inder Singh has virtually launched the Hargar Pani, Hargar Safe mission as part of the government's campaign to accomplish the goal of 100 per center potable piped water supply in all rural households. The scheme is being funded by the World Bank, Jaljivan Mission of Goy, Navard, and State Budget. 23 Spice Jet Chairman Ajay Singh defeated Ashish Scheller in a high-profile contest to get re-elected as President of Boxing Federation India for a second term. 24 Andy Jassy set to replace Jeff Bezos as Amazon CEO. Amazon.com Inc. founder and CEO, Jeff Bezos has announced that he would step down as CEO of the company and become executive chairman in Q3 of 2021, i.e. with effect from July 1, 2021. 25 India will emerge as the second most resilient economy in 2021, as per the International Economic Resilience IER, rank, released by Industry Body, PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry, FCHI. The ranking has been topped by Germany, among the top 10 leading economies. South Korea is at the third position in the list. 26 Ruksha Mantri Rajnath Singh has inaugurated the Chiefs of Air Staff, KOT, Conclave at Air Force Station Yelhanka in Bengaluru, Karnataka. The two-day conclave has been organized by Indian Air Force, from 3 to February 4, 2021, in a hybrid form with extensive use of digital media. 27 The Aero India 2021 event, country's premier aerospace and defense exhibition, kick-started at Air Force Station Yelhanka in Bengaluru. The 13th edition of the international event touted as the world's first-ever hybrid aero and defense show will see several aircraft of the Indian Air Force, IAF, Army, Navy, Hindustan Aeronautics, HAL, and the Coast Guard participating in the show. 28 fast bowler Ashok Dinda has announced his retirement from all forms of cricket. The 36-year-old right-handed pacer made his first-class debut for Bengal in 2005 and played for 15 years in Bengal cricket. 29 World Cancer Day is observed every year on 4 February by the Union for International Cancer Control, UICC. The day is celebrated to raise awareness and education about cancer, and pressing governments and individuals across the world to take action against the disease. World Cancer Day 2019-21 Theme, I Am and I Will 30 International Day of Human Fraternity is observed on February 4 globally. This year International Day of Human Fraternity 2021 Theme, A Pathway to the Future 31 Oxford Languages, 
the world's leading dictionary publisher, has named Atmanirbhata as the Hindi word of the year 2020. Atmanirbhata means self-reliance. The word was chosen as it validated the day-to-day -day achievements of the countless Indians who dealt with and survived the perils of a pandemic. 32 The first of its kind amputee clinic in India, has been launched by the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Education and Research, GIMR, a premier medical and research institution in Chandigarh. PGI Amputee Clinic in Chandigarh has been set up with the aim of improving amputation patient care by providing a collection of services under one roof with significant coordination. The clinic will provide social, mental, and physical support to its patients. 33 Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the centenary celebrations of the Sri Shri incident on February 4 via video conference in February 4, 2021 marks 100 years of the Sri Shri incident, a landmark event in the country's fight for independence. PM Modi also released a postal stamp dedicated to the Sri Shri incident, to mark the beginning of the event. The state government of Uttar Pradesh has planned a year of celebrations in all 75 districts of the state in the memory of the martyrs. 34 Kerala will open its first human milk bank, HMB, on February 5, 2021. This is a state-of-the-art facility, and Kerala Health Minister K.K. Shalja will open at Ernakulam General Hospital. A milk bank was established with the support of the Rotary Club of Coaching Global. The breast milk bank will ensure that newborn babies who are not ill or deceased or who are not breastfed due to insufficient breast milk production can obtain breast milk. 35 Department of Personnel and Training under Personnel Ministry, has appointed Praveen Sinha, as the Interim Director of the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, with immediate effect on February 3, 2021. 36 The Ministry of Labor and Employment has appointed S.N. Subramanian as the new Chairman of the National Safety Council, NSC, of India for a period of three years. Subramanian is the CEO and Managing Director of LNT Limited. India's largest construction company. 37 The state-owned aerospace and defense company, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, has signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MAU, with Hyderabad-based Mishraditunigam Limited, Midhani, for development and production of composite raw materials for use in aerospace. 38 India's position has slipped by two places to be placed at 53rd spot in the 2020 Democracy Index, from among 167 countries. The overall score of India is 6.61 in the index, on a scale of 0 to 10. India has been classified as a flawed democracy. Democracy Index is the global ranking released by the Economist Intelligence Unit, EIU, that provides a snapshot of the current state of democracy worldwide. Norway has topped the index. Iceland, Sweden, New Zealand, and Canada are the top five countries on the list. 39 Andaman and Nicobar Islands has become the first state or union territory in the country to become COVID-19 free with active cases falling to zero in the islands. Health Ministry's website reported that the last four infected persons in Andaman and Nicobar Islands have been declared cured. The UT had reported a total of 4,932 cases and 62 deaths from the virus. 48 25-year-old Kashmiri woman, Aisha Aziz, has become the youngest female pilot in the country. She became the youngest student pilot to get a license at the age of 15 in 2011. The 25-year-old from Kashmir who is the youngest female pilot in the country acts as a source of inspiration and a beacon of empowerment for numerous Kashmiri women. 41 billionaire Mukshambani-owned Reliance Industries Ltd has received the world's first consignment of carbon-neutral oil from Oxy Low Carbon Ventures, OLCV, a division of United States Oil Major Occidental. This feat will further help the oil major to accomplish its target of becoming a net zero carbon company by 2035. The very large crude carrier, VLCC, Sea Pearl containing the carbon neutral oil from Permian Basin, unloaded the cargo at Jamnagar on January 28, 2021. Hope you like this video guys. Please like share and subscribe to Commission Corner. Stay safe.
Signing off Commission Corner.